Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. You guys asked for this video, and here I am giving it to you guys. Sorry, it's a little dusty, just ignore that. It's okay. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create a very productive week for myself and a very productive day for myself, day by day. Today is Sunday. Yeah. The first thing you're gonna need is a planner, a good planner that you actually use. You guys know I use the Happy Planner. This one was the middle size, the medium size one, whatever you wanna call it. This is the week that we are planning for, um, September 24th to September 29th. We're gonna just take a piece of paper, close that for a second, and write down what do we have going on this week. Okay, so after you get your paper, all you're gonna do is write out three things. Your goals for the week, your to-do list for the week, and then your mental for the week. Well, I'll just go into a little bit of what each of these mean. So your goals are three things that you, or four, I put four. Normally, I only do three, but um, this time it's four. Four things that you want to go aim to get done. Is this something on the paper? Ew. Um, and if I spell something wrong, just ignore it. I think this has two O's. We're not going to talk about it, whatever. If there's something that you want to get done this week, like something that you're aiming towards, write that down. Don't write no more than five, five max. To-do lists are things more so like you do it kind of every week. It's nothing, you know, it's not like really you're aiming it. It's just stuff you have to get done. Then the mental part is just stuff that I like to do kind of as like a self-care type of thing. Okay, so at this point, it's pretty much filling in the blanks. We know what we want to get done for the week. We know what our goals are, and we know what we want to mentally work on. So now we just pretty much fill it in, fill it in wherever, it, wherever it fits. So I'll go through it with you guys. Um, I'll probably go through all of them so that you guys can get a gist of like what I'm talking about. Before we do that, I'm going to just show you guys how my days are broken down. This is the planner. I, this is the part that I love about the planner because you get three separate boxes, which I feel like is so handy. The first one is homework. I added this once I started going back to school. And you just write, I write down all the homework that I have. Next are the top three, which are pretty much the top main things I want to get done today. My top priorities in the day. And then the last four are things that like aren't as important as these, but I still feel like need to get done. And if they don't, if these don't get done, I won't kill myself. But like if these don't get done, that's come on, what are you doing? You know? So that's kind of what that is. That's how I organize it. I'm probably gonna go into this notes section and just write out my goals for the week because these wouldn't really go inside the, the the individual days. So I'm just gonna write out the goals for myself right here. I'm gonna put a line and then just start writing my mental stuff. Like the cool blue light. Also, show you guys how my board looks right up here. I got this recently. Um, I spelled September wrong, and I, and I I never went in to change it because it looks so pretty. And then I started drawing the lines next to it, so. I never went in to fix it after I realized, so we're going to just ignore that because I'm not fixing it because it looks so pretty and I know I'm going to mess it up, so we're going to leave it alone. The lines are just so perfect and crisp up there, no, it's fine, whatever, who cares. So these are kind of like my top three, like how I was telling you guys. So this was from today. Um, I just got this recently, like I said, so a lot of the months, a lot of the days are filled in. So I do have about three colored markers, which I feel like is very important when you are using this so that you can just, something can stand out to you. So I, up here, I have, you know, the month, I have my goals of the month, my YouTube goal, my YouTube uploading days, and then I have my top three priorities, which I also write in my planner. And then here, I just have, you know, if there's anything going on. I have nothing going on this week as far as events or nothing. So it just tells me like my uploading schedule, which we will track down our homework and stuff like that. So for homework and stuff, I'm gonna be putting it down into the planner right from here. So we're gonna get into that. You guys can just like kind of watch me transfer this stuff onto my planner for the week, as much as from the 22nd to the 28th. And then next week will be, you know, the 29th to the 30th. So we're gonna just, I'm gonna just transfer all this into my planner right now. I normally write like homework and YouTube stuff first. Um, if I was running my business, if I was open right now, I would have put that into the top three. So I put the most important to the top three. Homework usually falls there. Uploading usually falls there and everything else falls after. So the first thing I'm gonna fill out is the top threes. 
in the homework, same thing. And just a little heads up, if you have a test coming up, I put it down two days before, um, or a quiz. My quizzes are due online for this class, so I put it down two days before, just so I, you know, it's like a little heads up, like, hey, Kayla, this is coming up, make sure you remember. So now all of my top, oh, sorry, top threes are all finished. Now I'm going to go into my, um, the goals are written down, so we can just check this off of our list. Mental is written down, goals are written down. So all, now we're going to do, now all we're going to do is take the to-do list and just put them in whenever I feel like doing it. As long as, they, as long as it gets done this week, I'll be happy to do. So I want to just figure out where that falls. And if I have space to put it on number three, I will. If not, it'll fall to the, to the next four. And the big thing when you're planning is to prepare and prepare for just in case don't ever think everything's gonna work out perfect give your time give yourself time and wiggle room so normally if you had way more to do if you had I normally do all of my real stuff like grocery shopping putting gas in my car picking up stuff between Friday and Saturday um, but that kind of just depends on my check on Thursday, so I don't really write that out now. But this is pretty much an overview of how I plan out my weeks and how I plan a productive week. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of wiggle room down here. And this is normally filled in by the time the day comes because as of that day, I think of more stuff. I think of new tasks and I get it written down. So you never want to overbook yourself. Make sure you give yourself time. But it's good to have a structure so you at least know, you know, what's going on. Because as of tonight, I'll probably have more stuff to to write down that I want to get done for the next four. So this is pretty much how I plan out my productive weeks and my productive days. Use it and tell me if you guys, um, tell me if it works for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.